how you look at your life and your perspective can either be the reason you love your life or the reason you dread waking up every single day. You and I may be going through the same process and have different perspectives, but because of that different perspectives, our lives may be drastically different. The few things going through right now, school, family, friends, health, and of course, the emotional problems with rejection and loneliness. I could go on and tell you all the negative perspectives and say that it sucks that I gotta start worrying about school now. It sucks that I have to start having that stress and anxiety from homework and tests and worrying about passing. I can share with you all the crap I've seen in my family and the trauma that I've seen for the past 18 years and that it sucks that I haven't seen anything different than what I know. I can share with you the fake friends I come in contact with every single day and the emotional toll it plays on my life. I can tell you about the burden that my diabetes puts on my life with constantly worrying about not being able to live as long as I want to live and, worry, and worrying about living a long and healthy lifestyle. And finally, I can share with you how much it sucks being alone. I can tell you how much it sucks being rejected too often. But I can switch my perspective and I can tell you at it from this way. I can tell you I'm grateful for going to college. I'm grateful that I can afford a college out of pocket when 83% of Americans say they can't afford college without taking out a loan. I can tell you how grateful I am to have a loving family when some of you don't have that. I can tell you how thankful I am for the fake friends because the fake friends have shown me who to surround myself with. My fake friends have shown me who not to associate myself with and who to stay away from. They've made me more appreciative of the real friends and the ones who have always been there for me, truly. I can tell you that my diabetes has really motivated me to live a healthy lifestyle. For the past year or two, my diabetes has forced me to eat healthy and to work out every single day and to accept the fact that I can't change what I have, but I have to live with it. And finally, guys, I can tell you that my loneliness and my rejection, if I change my perspective, I can look at them as blessings and not burdens. And that all the crap I go through every single day is just fortifying me for the future. That in my lonely times, I'm grateful for those because in those times, I learn to lean on myself and to lean on God. And in the times I get rejected, that's fine. Because it's just getting right me, getting me used to when it does happen so I can handle it in the future. Because believe it or not, some of you out there, you get rejected or you're alone, you can't stand it. It happens and you break down and you either go smoke, you go drink, or you turn to the toxic people to fill that void in your life that only the love for yourself can fill. Your perspective may be the reason you either hate your life or the reason you tell life struggles, bring it on, I'm ready, why not me? Your perspective allows you to see things in a way that not and not many people can see it. If you look through a negative perspective, yeah, your life's gonna suck. You look at it in a positive perspective, you learn to smile through the pain. You learn to push through the pain and you learn to be ready for it. Cause yeah, it's gonna happen and it's gonna come to your it's gonna come to your front door. And you need to be ready for it. You just need to look at it in a different perspective and say, today I'm gonna grow through this and I'm going to be stronger. And don't be that person who sits there and mopes around and complains about it all day. Because that person doesn't get anything done.